<laughs> so today, we're going to hear God's word, and then this afternoon, we're going to eat the Lord's Supper. And I actually, I cannot think of, of a better text or really a sweeter text for us to be in this morning and then this afternoon to prepare us for the supper like Romans 5, 6 through 8. When you boil it right down, when you take the gospel and you boil it down and you take the Christian life and you boil it down and you take salvation and you boil it down, it comes down to this. Christ died for us. There are, there are hundreds, thousands of profitable things to learn from God's word and everything that you learn from God's word is profitable for this life and the life to come. But nothing is more important actually than what we have right here. Christ died for us. You could know all kinds of things. You could know all kinds of esoteric doctrine. You could know the high and lofty things of God's word. You could uh, have the ability to peer into great mysteries. And the fact simply remains that if you miss this, Christ died for us, you have missed absolutely everything. Now, Spurgeon actually talked like that a lot. He said, the motto of all true servants of God must be, we preach Christ and him crucified. And then Spurgeon went on in his own Spurgeonic kind of way. He says, a sermon without Christ is like a loaf of bread without any flour in it. No Christ in your sermon, sir? Then go home and never preach again until you have something worth preaching. Right? And so whether you are...